What's up everyone, Sam from edmprod.com here. Uh, now it's been a while since I posted a video, so I thought I'd record a quick one uh, on white noise. Now a lot of people have asked, how do I get my white noise to sound crisp, uh, clean and professional, I suppose. And there's a very simple way to do it, a very simple method that I use and, and a few others use I'm sure. Um, so I'm going to take you through that. We're going to go from this sound here which is your stock white noise, uh, to this. It just sounds a lot more clean. Uh, it fits in the mix a lot better and so on. <clears throat> so, uh, I'm going to use Massive for this. You can use any synth that has a white noise oscillator. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use. White noise is generally the same uh, with every synth. So, I'm going to go File, New Sound, turn off this oscillator, uh, turn the amp up all the way here and I'm just going to do something on this envelope to make sure that it loops properly um, you may notice that if I make a loop here it'll click you can hear that it just pops at the end there um, and that is because we've got too much attack and release so I'm just going to pull the attack down and the release down and then it's seamless. Um, so do that, set up a, a four bar or one bar loop, whatever you want. Um, and now we're gonna go on to the processing. So what I like to start with is an EQ to take out the low end. Um, now this sort of comes down to preference. Uh, some people like to take out, take uh, just out it up to 200 hertz, sorry. Um, I like to take it up to about 1K and get rid of the mids as well. So we have this. But you know, again, this is preference. You can have it down here, you know. Um, but in a lot of EDM songs, you'll hear it up around here. Or even higher, but 1K is a good, a good point. And I also like to boost up the highs a little bit. You don't have to do that. Um, it's just a preference thing again. Uh, now here's where the real fun begins. I'm going to drag an auto filter on. You'll see why I do this in a second. I'm going to group this. Um, so it's grouped into an audio effect track. Uh, and I'm going to assign the frequency here to macro 1. Now why would I do this? Um, if you're going to use this in a song, which you probably will, uh, a lot of music contains white noise, it's a very useful tension building technique. Uh, you can simply automate this. And you've got your own sweep. Um, but the best thing about macros is that you can assign more than one parameter to them. So I'm going to drag a reverb in here. It's going to change a few settings. Uh, take the high cut off, take the diffusion off and turn up the decay time to about six and a half seconds. And I'm going to map the dry wet to frequency. So now we've got this. But that's a bit too wet. Um, and you'll notice that it, you know, the dry wet is going down as I pull this down. We can fix this by going into the map section. If I click map on this audio effect track, um, you'll see that this pops up here. Now I want to invert the range so that when this is at the full, um, the dry is at zero and when it's at the bottom, the wet's at full. So as it sweeps down, the reverb increases. It's a nice way to, to let the white noise trail off. Um, but I don't want it to reach 100% wet. So I'm going to type in 80 here. And I also don't want it to be 100% dry um, when it's at its, when the, when the filter is at full. So I've got a little bit of reverb there. And if you wanted to, you could also map the decay time to this. Um, but I'm not going to do that. So already it's sounding pretty nice uh, and at this point you know it's pretty much done. Like I said very simple. One more thing you can do is uh, some stereo enhancement or stereo widening. Easiest way to do this is grab a simple delay, um, turn off the sync on both of these, bring them down to both one millisecond, turn the dry wet up to 100 and 
slowly start moving one of these up until you get a nice uh, width. So I quite like that. Gonna leave it there, um, but do make sure your dry wet's at 100, otherwise you'll get phasing. That's yeah, very nice. Now you can add all kinds of stuff uh, to white noise. You can add phases, you can add overdrive, distortion, same thing. Um, anything you like, go crazy, experiment. Uh, but that's just one of the ways to make your white noise sound a bit more clean, a bit more crisp, and a bit more professional. And of course, you could side chain this and so on. So I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, do leave them below. And I'll get back to you. Otherwise, peace.